I don't know. I think this is one where, like, if I answered it by myself uh, on one of those podcasts, it'd be like a tedious fucking hypothetical question. But between the two of us, it becomes kind of more interesting. Where I, I'll just I'll read it. If you were trapped in a room with a dog, <laughs> see where this is going. If you were trapped in a room with a dog and a knife, would you kill and eat the dog or allow yourself to starve? If you starve, the dog will eat you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on how big and feisty that dog is. I think we're assuming that, like, what are you saying? Like, the dog might hurt you. Oh, in right, the if the dog were to eat me or so, or you or whatever. I don't understand. Like, why are we in this room? Uh, Wait. Right. <laughs> and first of all, I don't like. If, <laughs> I'd rather just not eat. Like, I feel like even if I was to in, into eating meat. I would be too lazy to do anything about it. I would be too lazy to kill the dog. I mean, I know people would be like, well, if you're starving to death and you're crazy, but like, I just feel like I would just be like, fuck it. Like I would just be like dying. Off. I would just like, whatever. What kind of room are you imagining based on this? I'm imagining just like a basic white room. That's like, exactly what I'm imagining. Yeah. There's, there's no doors or fucking like, Yeah. it's just like an, not like an infinity thing, like some matrix shit. Like there's corners right, it's and just stuff. A, like you can see all the walls. And, it's about like yeah, 20 foot no by thing. 20 foot. It's like a square. And there's the dog's chained up in like what the corner opposite me. And it's kind of like, I don't know. Like I, I'd probably like, I, first of all, I'd probably wake up and I just, I'm assuming I wake up and I don't know why I'm there. Yeah, and then like, I'm what, like, how would you just like pop in there with no doors? Like you would just appear. Maybe the dog wakes me up. Like the dog's like fucking wakes up first, and the dog like wants to get out, and then I wake up and I'm like, what the fuck? Like I'm in a white room and there's a dog chained to a corner. Yeah. And then maybe I'd get to know the dog a bit because like let's assume I'm not hungry like straight away. I'm just like, oh, right. there's a dog, and then I let it sort of sniff me, and then I stroke it. And what kind of dog are you imagining? Um, I'm imagining a Great Dane. Okay, that's interesting. I was going Alsatian, so we've got a divide on that one. But okay, so it's a bit, some kind of big fucking dog. Like we've both got that. Yeah. And basically, we've uh, got to kill it. And it's um, I don't know. Like, is I mean, what would you do? Because obviously, like, you can't get out of this room, and you don't know why you're there. Like, what would your first reaction actually be? Like, I I would like. Suppose I I'd scream. Know. I'd scream a it's bit. It's such a weird thing to like think about, <laughs> like with no windows or like doors, like to even try to get out. You're just literally, you're just there. There's like nothing you can do. I'd probably like, I'd stretch a bit. I'd like, I'd just use it as an opportunity. Cause I've always thought like if I end up in prison, I'd definitely get really into yoga. Cause I've always been yeah, a bit exactly. into it. Yeah, exactly. And like, like fitness and stuff. So I'd just kind of like be like, okay, maybe this is just temporary. And then maybe like it goes on like, and I'm assuming that there's no source of light. So, and, uh, but maybe there's like fluorescent lighting in there that's just constant. Yeah, just something miserable, yeah. Yeah, exactly, like a real kind of like, there's like a flicker to it maybe a little bit. And I'm just like, and I don't know that days have passed, but it feels like they have. And I've, I've slept a bit and I've woken up. I've given the dog a name at this point, probably like, called it like, I don't know if I, probably named it after a dog I already know, like Rusty or something. And like me and this, like the dog's like my friend, cause like we're just fucking, we both don't know why we're in this room. Right. And um and there's a knife. How are you picturing the knife? <laughs> yeah, like let's go all the way with this. Shane Dawson thumbnail of him holding the knife with the chickens. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think it's the same kind of like it's, it's a fairly big knife. It's just it's, like a kitchen knife, but yeah, it's still pointy. Pretty hefty. Yeah, not like a butcher's knife or something. And it's um So the knife's in there. I mean like I'd start being like, has someone done this to me? Just I would to like, take the knife and see if I could like break the wall or something. That's what I would That's do. a good point, yeah. You'd use a knife as a tool, like maybe see if you can like push it so far into the wall that you can like step up to it, like maybe try and Yeah. I'm assuming there's a ceiling if there's like a light fitting. Right. Um I'll probably scream a bit, but then like that might lead to the dog barking more and then like we'd it'd just be like it would just be annoying. Well, there'd be a lot of reverb in this, like, square room, and I'd just be like, yeah. that, that'd ring in my ears, and then I'd sort of... I don't think I'd get to the point where I couldn't shout anymore. I'd just give up quick and just be like, okay, I need to just, like, be calm. 
I don't know, like, I suppose the real question is, is like, the only reason I'd eat the dog is if I've come to the conclusion that I'm never going to get out of the room to eat anything else. I yeah. mean, I, I'm thinking like, I'm going into some fucking like concentration camp style, like uh, kwashiorkor or ketosis, like my fat's being digesting itself and I feel like shit. Um, I've been in there maybe like, I don't know, is there water? Is the dog getting, the dog's getting yeah. skinny as fuck as well. So like, let's assume there's water. I don't know, should we? Yeah, we'll go with water. So that keeps me alive a bit longer, but I'm getting real faint. I'm like fucking like Gandhi when he like did some fucking protest and like didn't eat and like, and then- We're breatharians at this point. Some breatharian shit going on. Like I'm trying to get the fluorescent light to just like <laughs> frantic yeah, fluorescent light. Yeah, we're trying to like light. meditate through and I'm, I'm just losing my fucking mind and then man. no windows no doors I'm seeing shit I'm like forgetting my own name like everything's just like getting trippy as fuck and then I'm suddenly thinking like I could eat the dog and I've got this knife I don't think I'd do it I think I'd probably um I don't but then here's the other option like I could kill myself knowing that I was going to allow the dog to live for longer because it could eat my body but you would want to live through that. Like, it's so boring. Like, that room of nothingness. Yeah, it's like it's like what I had before, but now there's no dog, and I've got the shame of eating the dog. No, right. That, like... That's really depressing. Like you're like alone. You had like that pal with you, and now you're alone, and you also killed that pal, that little friend of yours. Yes, yeah, like, and I knew that I was going to die eventually anyway because I got to a right. point where I had to eat the dog. So it's almost like I didn't go out on my own terms. Like I undid my veganism in my final moments, like alone. Like right. That's that's like I I prefer to die on my own terms, where it's like at least I go out vegan. Like I'm just I'm trying to think what the best thing for the dog is because I'm thinking like if I if I let the dog eat me. When I like I if I die first and the dog eats me, is that just gonna prolong the dog's suffering where it's just gonna be alone in this room for longer? Like maybe I should kill the dog as a mercy killing and then kill myself. Right. <laughs> I think that's I, I honestly think like if I played through that scenario completely. Or just have a competition with that dog and see who's gonna die first, and then whoever dies first wins. Yeah, just like, who, who starves longest. You just don't longest. do anything. Like, you don't kill the dog. You just sit there. That's kind of a beautiful way to die. Just like, this is on my own terms. No one's going to get hurt on my behalf. Let's just ride it out and see yeah, what happens. Let's see fun. if there's an afterlife. <laughs> yeah, right. I feel like we've answered that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, thanks for asking that, whoever did. It was on Anonymous. And I hope you... Um, you know what to do now. <laughs> yeah, when you're stuck in that situation. You'll I, remember this podcast. You'll be like, oh yeah, I have a few ideas for this. Okay, there's another element that I just thought of though. To like, what if like um, you kill the dog and then suddenly just like the lights go out and then like it turns out there's just been like a sort of a one-way mirror in the ceiling the whole fucking time. Like it's some, they, there's been a, like a fiber optic camera you've been recorded like what oh, yeah and they're like we caught you you vegan but what if it's a thing like if you'd have just i always think like if you'd ridden it out and then they like did the reveal and they're like oh we're not gonna let you die but um you stuck i don't know I'd, I'd i'd get kind of paranoid i mean like i've yeah i've gone through phases of smoking weed and i've like i've i've ate enough weed that i was starting to try and look through mirrors to see if they were like alone in a place where i was just like is this a one-way mirror? <laughs> like, that's yeah. when you know you've got two stone. Like, don't do drugs, basically. it fuck you up. It's, uh... Yeah, I think I'd get to that point where I was delusional having not eaten, where I'd be like, is this some sort of massive prank? Right. Are we ready to move on yet? Is that all the possibilities yeah. for that? Yeah, okay, I think let's we're ready. On. Like, another question? Um... I was watching BGT. <laughs> I'm not